In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build an Instagram AI chatbot for your Instagram business page that will book appointment for you on autopilot just like your sales rep. Now, if you're new to the AI space and you don't even know how to code, you don't have to worry because you're not going to use a single piece of code in this whole build. Now, before getting into the build, let's see on how the system actually looks and book appointment for you where you don't even have to raise a single finger. So, let's see. Okay. Uh Remember that as fake as well. So let's see. When is it? 6 p.m. Put in dark. Put in at gmail.com. Your appointment has been successfully booked for when is it? 6 p.m. We can't wait to see you. Okay, perfect. Now let's see in our inbox whether it booked our appointment or not. So as you can see, Wednesday at 6 p.m. Our two appointments have been booked, which which I booked previously. That is at Wednesday at 5 p.m. We have an appointment for Wednesday at 6 p.m. for the same user. And in the Google Calendar, if I go, Wednesday at 6 p.m., our appointment has been booked. Awesome. Since you have seen the scene, how the system actually works, let's learn the basics of what is actually happening. So what we are doing here, that user comes to your direct messages, he sends a DM to your Instagram page, and with the official APIs, we connect it to external sources. So we send the message information to the external sources, and then AI will do processing and create a response to this message. And then with the official message, we send that message back to the DMs of the user. Now, before getting ahead, the first step of building this whole system is connecting Instagram to Facebook. If you already connected, awesome. If you're not, let's get into it. Now, you must have a business page on Facebook. If you don't, you can go create it. Make sure it's 24 hours old. If it's not, you can wait for 24 hours and then continue. Now, go to the page main home. And now here you'll be able to see settings. So go to settings and scroll down. Here you'll be able to see linked accounts. Now click on linked account, go to Instagram. Now here what you'll do is connect your Instagram account to Facebook. So it's pretty simple, so let's do it. Connect, confirm, awesome. Now it might take some, awesome. So now as you can see, our Instagram page is connected to our Facebook page. Now what we're gonna do is building the back end of the system now here what we'll do is connect instagram to chatbotbuilder.ai because it's one of the best platform building for chatbot chatbots ai chatbots i personally built for my several clients and you can do the same or you can do the same for your own business now what we're going to do is connect instagram to cbb and then connect cbb to google calendar now why am i using google calendar to book appointments and give uh make those appointment record in my calendar okay so Let's go to chatbotbuilder.ai, just create a new account, if you know, you can just uh, name it anything you want. I'm gonna, you make a spa bot that is basically for a med spa. So this is just an example. So a spa bot, perfect. Okay, now this is the homepage where you'll see a lot of things. Don't get overwhelmed, just head to flows. Now here you will see a lot of things. Now let's just create. Uh, in the intro message now what is an intro message intro message is the first message that the user will see when they will see your message they or where they will click on get started on your facebook page so go to flows create an ad and name it anything so i'm gonna get an intro message perfect awesome our intro message has been built perfect now click on send message uh click on add content now you'll just go text you can even add images if you like if you like video to send in the first message you can do it but for the sake of the video i'm gonna use just text uh hey there perfect and we're gonna publish now make sure to publish every single changes that you make then only or any, any changes that you make will be saved and will take effect now go back in page now here what we're gonna do is connect instagram directly to chatbotbuilder.ai so go to settings, click channels, channels, and here we'll be able to see Instagram. Now here what we can do is just connect with that Facebook Messenger, but we're gonna click on it. Instagram, click on connect. You will be able to see your Instagram profile ID. Awesome. Continue and select the business page that you have. So yeah, it showed my Instagram account. Awesome, click on connect. Now, our Instagram is now connected with 
and botbuilder.ai. Now 30% of the work has been complete. Now what we're going to do is create the brain of the AI. Now how are we going to do it? So what we're going to do is just create instructions to the AI. Now what is instruction? Instructions are basically prompt. So prompt is just nothing. Just basically instructions and information about your business that you give to the AI. And then AI will use that information to create a response to give back to the user. Awesome. So this is done. Click on settings. Now here we'll turn on the AI. So go to integrations. Now here we make sure you can use any AI tool that you like. But now I'm going to use OpenAI for this video. So OpenAI. Now make sure to click turn on automated response. Now I've already had some instructions built already. So they were like, you are a customer support assistant for CNA Spa. And your task is to respond to all the customers and help to solve queries. Respond to all customer queries and questions. Always maintain a friendly tone and always use emojis in your responses. You must never lie or make up unnecessary information. Now this is a great prompt I think uh, you must use in your responses. I'm just going to copy this and i'm gonna paste it over here so our first instructions are done i'm gonna remove this because we don't need this uh in the belt if you don't want to give a chat hand off just remove it okay just click on this perfect continue now we're gonna put the business information in the prompt now you can just copy paste the whole business information but here we will want quality information as to, to reduce unnecessary information so this is just uh seneca med spa in los angeles I'm just going to copy the whole information about their business, about their services, and head to ChatGPT and tell ChatGPT to create a knowledge base for us. Now, create a AI chatbot knowledge base from the perfect. Now, what your ChatGPT will do is give make a full business knowledge base with the given information that i just provided now what we're going to do is connect our google calendar to chatbotbuilder.ai so just go to settings go to integrations scroll down and you'll be able to see google calendar click on google calendar and now you'll be able to connect to your google account now if you want if you want to use a different calendar that's like calendly or cal.com you can use it it's up to you now let's collect google.com google calendar so click on connect Perfect. Now my Google is connected to my personal Gmail. So awesome. Now ChatGPT also given us a beautiful knowledge base for the business. So let's just copy this and paste it in the prompt so that if we ask any question about the business, uh, it's going to respond uh, accurately. So click here. Now below the all the prompt and all the instructions that I gave before, I'm just going to paste it all. Let's see if this AI is working or not. Go to flows, go to intro message, click on three dots and click on preview. If you can also click on link. Perfect. I'm going to ask, hello. I'm going to ask some question about the scenario stuff. Where are you based? What are the working hours? And as you can see, this giving me information perfectly. Awesome, so these are the working hours, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., 9.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Awesome. So, our AI is working perfectly. Now, our task is to make an appointment scheduling system. So, what we're going to do is just, since we connected our Google Calendar to CBB, now just head to marketing and found, find Google Calendar appointment scheduling so click on appointment just uh create a new calendar now now you'll see a dashboard like this now this description is one perfect now when can people book now you will just set the time where can people book so i'm gonna set it to mm, let's say 11 a.m um so from 11 a.m perfect now Make sure to se select the country that you are in because you don't want uh, the AI to get confused. So, so make sure if you're, if you're from America, just click a time zone of America and then it will um, schedule the call perfectly. So and just to make it simple, I'm not going to tell you right now. Where will the appointments will happen? It will be in person meeting. Yes. 
Uh, I'm not gonna see give meeting address, not necessary. This is something not necessary as well. If I mean you can send a message one hour before, but we don't necessarily need it right now. And restrictions, appointment duration will be one hour. Perfect. And daily limit will be more than five appointments. That is it. Now half of the things has been done. Now the most important step that comes in. You must follow the steps. Now here what you gonna do is just click on custom fields. Go to custom fields, click on add. Name it as date. Should be date and time. Date and time for the appointment. Perfect. Now just click on save. Now what we're gonna do is create a function. Okay, so go to settings, so go to integrations and click on open AI. Now scroll down and here you'll be able to see AI triggers. So that is you can call well. So go to AI triggers. Now here click on add. Now naming this book appointment. Amen. Now allows user to book appointment. Perfect. Now what data to collect? Now here you will write the date that we just created so date and time date and time perfect awesome uh, full name of the user their their email address and their phone number if not necessary you can skip it but I'm, for this video I'm going to use the phone number as well and the phone will be spa appointments perfect and continue that is all. Now go back to settings. Go to since again and then go to open AI as well. So integrations, open AI, edit. And here AI triggers. We just made a new AI figure. So click on book appointment. Awesome. And click on continue. Perfect. Uh and now let's set the system. Let's book appointment for us or not. So I'm gonna go to intro message. I'm going to preview this again, so get link, copy, instead real quick, perfect, okay, hello there, I would like to go a meeting, yes, yeah, so it's going to ask my full name, my email address and my phone numbers, okay, so I would prefer it on Monday 2 p.m. because this is something my full name is food and talk my email is food and talk 2005 at gmail.com I'm gonna use my personal email now my professional email is, is in my description now if you're looking to work with me or build some sp systems like this you can just reach out to my calendar link or my professional email as well now my phone number is i'm just gonna make a thin fake phone number perfect and i'm gonna send it let's see if this books an appointment for me or not and might take some few seconds okay i think why i made the mistake over here so let's just fix it uh real quick so go to settings Again, uh, it seconds figure that out why it's happening. So go to integrations again and open AI. Now go to AI. Now what we did is uh, we mistakenly just click as date and time. So I'm just going to write date. Click and we're going to write uh, thanks your appointment has been perfect. perfect i think sh it should be working perfectly now so let's see if how this works i would like to become appointment appointment perfect i think this should be good enough i'm just gonna ask someone please it over here and let's see if this works or not then Yes, great user appointment has been successfully booked. 
Monday at 2 p.m. Thank you for choosing us, Purun Dark. If you have any more questions, you need assistance. Now you might be wondering. Okay, well, it might be just AI created, but don't worry. Just go to the inbox, and you will be able to see. Appointment has been booked in my calendar. If I go to and you will be able to see that the time absolutely correct as spa appointments 2 to 3 p.m. on my Google Calendar that is my personal Gmail account yes if you're looking for professional to build this type of system for your business or for your use case you can book a discovery call with the link in the description below or if you're just an AI entrepreneur trying to build AI stuff you can drop a subscribe as well because there will be amazing tutorials coming in the future so stay connected see ya